Um, what what you do to read the? What? You going there? Yes. Okay. Tell me when you're there. Okay. What what should what should I Google? Okay, down the right hand side, down down kind of the middle of the page. There's a block which says Twitter. It's like a Twitter, like all these people sharing. Can you see that? I'm not on the on the page. You're not on the home page yet. No, I'm not on the on the web page. Oh, I'm, okay. I'm trying to Google. Are you going to be able to, or are you not going to be able to? Yes, but I, what can I do to get there? To the home page? Oh, it's www.curedrive, one word, dot o o r g. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, I didn't know you didn't know the website. Oh yes, I'm here now. Okay. There is a video. There is a video. Yes. So on the right hand side, kind of halfway down, is a big block where people are sharing on Twitter. What? Yeah, I can see now. All right. I see your face. No, not yeah, the face. Your image is a cat, isn't it? Say that again. I see your image. Your uh, it's, it's like your image is, is a cat. Well, oh, right, yes. Right. Okay. <laughs> She's my alter ego. <laughs> Anyway, uh, click the follow button on that and read 20, 30 tweets or so. Okay. Um, Should I do it now or later? Yeah, I have a few minutes. Why don't you do it now? Okay. All right, cut. And now talk about what it was like to be those respective people. Well, Ross felt great. Um, she just felt like she knew exactly what to do. How did Anne Maria feel? Anne Maria was uh, very excited and curious. And she she was, uh, uh, she felt uh, that uh, she had found uh, what she had been looking for for a lot of time. Uh-huh. Is that it? Anything? Anything else you want to share about it? It seemed like it did really well. Okay. Yeah. It, it, it seemed it, to it go very well. You guys, uh, practice makes perfect. It seems like you guys are really getting good with this outline. Yeah, we practice in our last. We practice at the end of the session if we can for a little while. Well, also, I made the outline easier to use. I changed well, it. Well, one thing I don't understand is what to do if she doesn't have time to read the 30 tweets. Then what do you do? <laughs> then you, then yeah. you say say sayonara. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, okay. But if she, if she doesn't have time to read the 30 tweets, it's wrong. No. Say that again? If, when people don't have time, you say goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> And it means that she felt she has time. When people have no time, you say sayonara, goodbye, I'll okay. see, see you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. Um, so, uh, Barb, uh, let's see, go to you. Um, lower your camera just a bit, Barb. <clears throat> and uh, you seem like you're enjoying listening to this role play. Yeah. Uh, I, uh, I, Anna, do you have any idea what Anna's planning to do about the meeting this morning? Because I, uh... Yeah, she said she's on her way here. Okay, okay. So we'll just I wait for her. All right, so then I would like to play a role with you. Can you find the outline and uh, play one with me? Uh, okay. I want you to be me. All right. And so you're going to be me running the outline. And I've been doing great running the outline lately. I have to say that... It is saving me tons of time, and also people feel good when I leave them. 
even mm -hmm. though they flunk. I, all the people mm -hmm. I've run it with have flunked one way or another. Like one guy yeah. got all the way up to the is it real part and that's where he flunked. But huh. he, he tested and he changed and he got, he felt different, everything. Got signals and then he flunked the, the is it real part. Mm. But, but he felt this was from yesterday and I forgot to ask him that part. That's the question. But he felt good be, and because you know why? Because mm -hmm. I told him I get I left him with I always mm -hmm. leave people with recommendations. I told him get your girlfriend together with you. She he want she has herpes too. And he wants uh -huh. he wants to help her cure her herpes. So I said get her together, watch the Watch mm -hmm. the, and I now I have a herpes movie on the home page, so okay. I told him watch the herpes movie with your girlfriend. Her name's Carly, and uh, with Carly, and uh, you know, and then call me back. So they always they always feel good when see because flunking isn't necessarily forever. It doesn't mean mm -hmm. that the person will never cure it. It just means like right now it's not time to spend more time with them. Okay. Is all it means. So, uh, let's see. Tell me when you have the outline, Barb. I have the outline, so you just do it from the very beginning, or pick it up. Well, I'm going to be. I'll tell you. I. Um, you're going to be me, and I'm going to be. You know, Keely sent you this woman. Yeah. Friend of hers. Mhm. Mm well, I'm going to be somebody like that. Okay. 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 So my name is, uh, well, people call me, I'm a woman, but people call me Tommy. My name's Thomasina, so people call me Tommy. Okay. Hi. Okay. Hi. Hi there. It's not Anna, but it's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I might as well say hello anyway. Hi. <laughs> I will say hi to you. <laughs> okay. okay. All right. So I'm going to call you. Ring, ring. Uh, hi there. Bayard here. Oh, is this Barb? Uh, Bayard speaking. Oh, it's Bayard. Okay, right, right. Okay. Well, uh, I got, you know, Anna gave me your number. I just joined the Web College. Uh-huh. And, uh, I, uh, you know, I've been getting signals and so on. Mm-hmm. And I have, for the last seven or eight years, I've been battling fibromyalgia. Uh-huh. And so I uh, need some help. I, I want to, I mean, I, I feel better, but, you know, I'm really, I want to cure it. I'm motivated, you know, I'm, I want to cure it. You're motivated? Okay. Cut. So. Cut. Now, before we go on with this role play, I want to explain to you that what I want you to do is run a version of the outline that's appropriate for this person. Okay. Now, this person already signed up for the web college. Yeah, I'm going to get out of the name right here. Okay. So, right. so she's in the web college, so you're not going to help her join the web college. What you're going to help her do is find a couple of things and then uh, show her about the page about coaching. Find a couple of things. Oh, okay. That's because that is her, that's her next thing, see? Right. So... You know, she can either do that or try, and also you can invite her to the meeting on Monday night because she has her password now. So, you know, we invite people when they have their password, we invite them to Monday night. Okay. So, uh, where is the page about coaching that's on the homepage? No, it's on the hub. Oh, okay. It's up on the upper left, so you can't okay. miss it. It's right there. It's right in the top of the left column. Okay. Um, so anyway, so you're me, and I'm her, and let's see how you go through the outline and do that. Okay. Um, okay. So uh, you've gotten signals. You're, you've cured a few things already? Oh, yeah. No, okay. I'm, do, I'm doing great. I really feel good about this, by the way, and I think I really, honestly feel that I will cure my fibromyalgia. I, I believe that. Okay, so you're feeling very different. You know, it's I, I am different, and I have fewer symptoms. 
Um, no, nobody ever told me that. <laughs> uh, Is it really? I got scared when you told me that. <laughs> That's right. You're supposed to get a little scared. That's good. What um, sort of, uh, you know, like, what do I... What are, what are, are a couple of things. I'm just telling you that because someday someone's going to tell you that and I want you to know that now. Okay. Uh, so stick with it. All right. Yeah. Well, I'll just okay. I'll just yeah. take it as yeah. that. Or you can quit the cult at any time. You can just stop hearing things. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's easy. I'm things have changed over the years. Yeah. I'm, I'm <laughs> I can keep my fiber my algae, right? All right. Yeah. Okay. Um, are you aware that that there is coaching available for people like you who are making progress already? And no, actually, no, I'm not. Yeah, you sound like you're already suitable for coaching program. Why don't you go to the hub right now? You know how to get to the hub? Sure, I, I have my password and all. Okay, so let's see the part on the uh, hub here. I'm going to go there, too, uh, where it says uh, coaching is available. Oh, okay, I see it. Okay. Up on the upper left, right. Exactly, yeah. For of, uh, yeah. Oh my God! Yeah. This personal is personal cheer, cheer, personal cheer coaching is what I'm talking about. So I can do ten days for twenty seven hundred dollars, mm -hmm. or three months for sixty three hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. Sounds like the sixty three three months is a better deal. <laughs> That's what most people do, yeah. Well, is this is this, is this my preliminary consultation for three hundred and fifty dollars? What we're doing right now, it could be if you if you want that to be. I'm thinking that given that you've already made progress, it sounds like that's what you're qualified for, and I can tell right now that you're already um, suitable for this program. So yeah, this could be your your uh, consultation right now. What we're doing together. Well, I'll tell you what. I wasn't planning on spending any money when I called you, and you know, I, Anna just told me that you'd help me a little bit. So, mm -hmm. yeah. I, uh, but I will consider this option. I, I will say that I'm okay. glad you showed it to me. I will consider this option. Okay, you can watch this movie here and and test on this. Yeah. Okay. And yeah. I call and you. Get a personal uh, care coach, and you get a personal coach, but you also get a group that backs you up too. I see. All right. I assume that I would call you if I want to do the coaching. Mm-hmm. Well, what I, see, I was thinking maybe I would just try to do it along myself for a few weeks and wow. see how it goes and then decide if I'm, you know, up for That's being coached. Fun. Okay. That's so, fine. Well, let me ask you... Um, where, where would you suggest that I go from... And I just got my password. Uh-huh. I have actually never worked on the web site before, the web college. So... Well, I could go through the hub with you right now. I, I mean, I looked at YouTube. the hub. When I, you know, when I joined, I looked at the hub. But, uh -huh. but that is... That's, that's a, what most, most people work on the hub every day, regardless of what they're working on. Right. So that's what I would recommend. And have you been to a Monday meeting? You know about those? Oh no. What about, what about the Monday meetings? Um, those are good meetings where people get uh, some personal attention, but we also work as a group and do prayers together. Uh -huh. Special kind of prayers that we that you do, not just things that you say, that are just good for your overall, you know, immunity and. I still go to the meetings myself. They're, they're, you mean basically uh, you cure uh, things at the yeah, we, yeah, we cure things. Okay. Ourselves and each other. Yeah. So I, I recommend those. The information about those is on the home page. Oh, oh. Let me go back to the home page. Monday morning. Uh, you can talk to me. Let me go back to the home page now. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure I totally know how to get to the home page. Uh, you can get there from the hub where you just work. Well, it took me to Yahoo Groups. <laughs> the link yeah. to the home page. 
I don't know. I don't see a link to the home page on the... Oh, here's one. You can just shorten your uh, URL there to CureDrive.org. So where... Um, okay, I'm on the home page. Where do I find the thing to the meetings? Uh, it's called Monday Night uh, Meeting. And let's see. It's right directly below... Mm, let's see. Oh, let's see. You go straight down from the video. Stop the video under the negative medical test and cure meetings. It's called cure meetings Monday night. Oh okay. yeah. Okay. Hot. Uh, one thing I want to mention. Is that generally, I would just give the person Greg's phone number, which I memorized. Oh, okay. And I'd say, call this guy and he'll hook you up at the meeting. You know, it's much easier okay. than going through all okay. this. Besides, you had her on the hub, so. You okay. See, you're just wasting your own time, really. All right. Because. There's see, another contact then, too. <clears throat> yeah, what you're trying to do is just get off the call as fast as possible, you know. Okay. Give her what she needs and get going. So, also, I lost all video. Hmm. And, and we lost Franny. Oh. I'm calling Franny back. Here's Anna. Hi. Hi, Anna. Okay. Barb, turn your camera on. Okay. Camera was on. No, no, it wasn't. <clears throat> there you are. Hi, everyone. Hi, Anna. Hi, Anna. That's okay. You're next. Boy, Anna, you look you look really funny. You have all those clothes on plus sunglasses, like you. <laughs> you look really. Oh, for Santa Fe, it looks very mystical. It looks what? We're not used to this. You're starting to look more like yourself as we speak. <clears throat> Let's see. Okay. Uh, so, uh, but other than that, this was very good, Barb. What you, what you did, and you know, you know what I pra You know what I told you about. You know that you'll get a share from that woman. Yeah, didn't have to tell Greg about that. Well, you see, you basically. You basically wasted your time with her, and even I, I told you that you could have a share, so you will get 30%. But after this, nothing. When somebody signs up for the web college, do what you just did and give them a chance to come into coaching. Okay. Now, all this is much easier if they're in the cafe. Uh huh. Because in the cafe, they, they're sitting at the counter eating a cookie. And they can look at the, you know, the coaching thing and take their time. And you don't have to sit on the phone with them. You can mm -hmm. sell somebody else a cookie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or make a latte for yourself or something. And then, you know, go on from there. See, so. Mm -hmm. Cafes. I get the idea. What, for? I think I get the idea, yes. Yeah, cafes make things easier. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. Make things easier. But I did say that you were going to get a percentage and you will. Just because I, I fucked up, because I didn't know, you know, when I was talking with you, I really, I actually didn't know yeah. what, what you were supposed to do any better than you did, so um, mm -hmm. I learned what you were supposed to do from talking to you. Right. So, so Anna, yeah. you got yourself a nice little snackaroo there, huh? <laughs> a pumpkin cookie. A pumpkin cookie. Mmm. Wow. Well, right now, I am eating a big mushroom. <laughs> We're all eating. I have bell I have red bell pepper. 
I have an enormous amount of avocado. Uh -huh. I got mushrooms and I got I got uh -huh. kasha. Well, I'll tell you what, Barb, trade seats so Anna's sitting closer and she can do her. She's up Someone's next. Someone's running a coffee machine, something, right? Yeah. Anna, you come up and sit where Barb is sitting so you're closer. By the way, and I'm glad you came to uh, to the uh, st the store so you can be on camera because it really is much easier when you're on camera. Mm -hmm. Barb, trade seats with Anna. Okay. Yeah. And do you have the outline on the screen? Um, no. Barb, get her get her the outline back. Wait, you had she, Barb had it one second ago. All right. Now I'm gonna move your head so you're in the in the picture. <laughs> I can't see myself anymore, so I'll try to help. Uh, go to your left, I would think. Go towards Barb, yeah. Hi. Hi, come on in. There you go. Okay. Okay, so okay. you still Yeah. Okay. Okay, now. Bye. And the other night, you and I played roles, and you would you were doing the outline. Uh huh. And you were really you, you were you were good. I mean, you went right through it, like zip zip. Now, do you remember anything else from that night when you were doing the outline? Um. Well, I remember the night. I don't know what you mean in particular. All right. We did some role playing. Okay. Yeah, you were. We were role playing the outline. Yeah. By the way, did I ask you last night um, if you got if we got a result with when we were talking with Barb on the phone that night? Yeah, you did. And I'd like you to share what you told me with everybody. Okay. Sorry, I just am eating my cookie. <laughs> mm. um, me too. <laughs> Go towards Barb. Move your head over. Yeah, that's right. Maybe even a little more. How's Maybe that? Yeah, good. You can move your chair over too if you want, or just turn the th the TV. Okay. So um, I felt like our conversation opened up some more conversations with Barb and I regarding the business and how we're working together and what our expectations are and what we'd like to manifest. And yeah. So I instigated more communication between you and Barb. Yeah, don't you think Barb? Yep. Yeah. 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 Is there any other result that I got by getting on with both of you? <laughs> okay, then let's, yeah, then let's move on. I mean, that's a lot. Yeah, it is. There's a lot in that, well, in that conversation. The reason that I'm asking you this question is because I connected to something that you were doing when we were playing roles, when you were doing the outline. Uh -huh. <clears throat> so I want to do the outline again and see if you've... I want to see if you've cured it, if you've gotten any further. 
since the other night when we did the outline, okay? So, I'm going to be a guy named Bob. And I want you to be me calling Bob. And I called you up because I saw your phone number. You're Bayard, and I saw your phone number on a movie on YouTube about herpes, okay? So I'm going to call you. Just, just answer the phone. You know, I'm having trouble um, hearing everything you're saying, Bayard. Uh, you, do you want to move, you want to change where you're sitting? No, it's not that. It's, um, it's on your side. I think you're, it's better now, but I missed part of what you said. You maybe pulled away or maybe you ate something. Or I don't well, know. you know what? Yeah, I think what happens is when there's an ambient noise where you are, it cuts me off. Yes, that's it. It's that just, there's a oh. background noise and that, you can't hear him. Yeah. Okay, yeah. that's better now. Okay, so ring, ring. Hello? Um, hi, is this Bayard? Yes. Oh. Well, my name is Bob, and I, you know, I saw your generous offer to help me cure my herpes on the, on the, I, there was a YouTube movie about herpes, and... Oh, great. So you, you watched the movie. Well, it wasn't one of your movies, it was this medical movie about herpes, but you were able to comment on it with your phone number. So, I'm wondering what you can, you know, how you would help me cure my herpes, and you said you cured yours, so... I'm gonna, I want to cure mine, like, I don't want to do the stuff they said in the medical movie, because they're talking about all these side effects from Valtrex, headaches, nausea, dizziness, I mean, I, I'm not taking that shit. So I, I just, I want to do something else, you know? That's great. Well, do you believe that you can cure yourself? Um, cut. Now, you're looking at the outline, correct? I am. I'm trying to find that one spot, though. I'm scrolling down. Alright, do find the spot because I can guarantee you it doesn't tell you to ask anybody if they believe anything. Okay, where should where is this spot looking for? I'm looking for um the Just scroll down, you're looking for part one. Part one? I think we're past part one. Oh, okay. Right. Okay. We'll just start right there, and let's pretend you didn't ask me if I believed in Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead. Okay. Ask yourself this. Can I cure things? Can I cure things? And look for a signal. Look for a signal probably in your hands or your fingers, like an involuntary twitch or a tingle or movement. Really? You know, it's funny you say that because, you know, before you told me to look for the signal, like when I asked, can I cure things, the weirdest thing, like my pinky jumped. Yeah, that's it. That's it. God, I didn't know what was going on. That, thank you. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. So you mean that? That's what you're talking okay, about. So Great, you got a signal. Did the way you feel change also? Um, good question. Well, you know what? It wasn't anything I probably would have noticed, but now that you mention it, I do feel a little different, like sort of like calmer or something. Yeah, good. It, um, you seem to have a strong God connection. Really? Yeah. Wow. If you got a signal like that, you do. Cut. So. Cut, cut. Okay. All right. From what I can see now, I think between the time we did the other role play and now, you probably cured whatever it was I saw in the other role play. Mm hmm Because what was wrong with you then is not wrong with you now. Like you're... I think you're doing really a perfect rendition of doing this outline. Great. 
Now, there was something I want to do with both of you and Barb, if she... If, do you think Barb could come back and be with you and you, you could both be over here? I'm just going to the part in my outline. See, I have an outline for what I want to do with you, Anna, and with the, also with the Cure Team. Um, <clears throat> now, a minute ago I was, you weren't here for this, Anna, but I was talking about, I've talked to several people and they all flunked when they were doing the outline, but they all felt good when they got off the phone. Uh -huh. Because, you know, I gave them recommendations and they felt like they were helped. Right. <clears throat> but I just didn't spend an inappropriate amount of time with them. See, flunking somebody, Anna, come, go, move towards Barb because you're all the way out of the picture. Okay. I can't see it. Wait, I'll tell you, Annie, this, this would, I think you might find this interesting. There was this one guy named David, and he went all through all the testing, and he tested everything and felt different, and he was different, changed. You know, when he got to the part, is it about whether it's real? He couldn't get it. He tested, no, it wasn't real. He actually tested that it wasn't real. And so I just told him to, he, his, he wants his girlfriend to, you know, cure her herpes, and he has herpes too. And so I sent him to, you know, the movie that we made together? Well, I'm saying, you know the one we, that, have you seen the movie that you and I made? Yeah. Well, I'm using that as my basic herpes instruction. Oh, wow. And I put a whole bunch of lectures in it, too. So now it has me, me lecturing as well as me and you doing the herpes cure. And Great. So, so it's like about an hour. So I sent him to that movie, and I said, Get Carly, sit down in front of the movie with her, and watch the movie. Uh-huh. And he felt great. I don't know if any of these people will ever want to do it. But what I do know, see, if you're showing people how to do this in the cafe, most people flunk. Oh, sh shoot, I lost Barb. Damn. It's okay. She, remember, she had to do something real quick. We'll see that. So she's coming right back. Sorry, it's okay. Her, so. Hey, Bart. Yeah. See, it could be, if you're doing this with people in the cafe, it could be very awkward when they flunk. Uh huh. But if you, see, they, if you can give them recommendations or, yeah, them or pair them with somebody else who's, you know, who wants to do it. Uh -huh. then, then uh, you know, it's not, then it's no longer awkward and they feel good about yeah. you and, come, and they'll come back to the cafe and order cookies and coffee again, uh -huh. see, which is what you want. Right. So, you know, see, Anna, you, you know, the thing that I learned from you... From Anna? Yeah, I was going to say, remember when I was, remember when I was telling you that it's dysfunctional to let your customers control your attention? Yeah. Well, see, the other side to that is that you, it's very functional to love your customers the way you do. Like, when you, when I see you with your customers, like, your face just lights up. You know, you're like, you enjoy them so much. And it's, yeah, I do. it's a real pleasure to watch you with them for me. And also, um, they see that you like, oh, you hear my phone ringing? Yeah, I've got a lot of No. And when in the background, my phone is ringing, and that's somebody calling me, asking for my help curing something. Uh -huh. Like, I get, like, probably six or seven calls a day, people calling me up.
asking me. Most of them don't leave their numbers, but some of them do. And now, since I've been using the outline, it doesn't take me long to help them. <clears throat> when people look at you, Anna, they see that their praise means more to you than their money. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's a very, very big deal. Very important. That they, mm -hmm. they know that they matter to you. Like what they think and how much they like what you're doing. And the cookies, the coffee, whatever it is. That that's what, that's what you really care about. It's obvious just to look at you. So Thank you. You're, you're, a, you're a person who serves and loves people. You know, you, you're, you're a giving person, a caring, loving person. And, uh, and what I, see, so what I learned was that just about anything that you talk about with people will cause them to come back to the cafe. And so, given that that's the case, if you cure things with them, they're certain to come back. Now, um, you have a sign outside that says Cure Cafe, right? Yeah. And about, do, does anybody ever ask about it? Yeah. Now, we have had people ask us about it. Now, what percentage, let's say 10 people come in. How many of those 10 people are likely to ask about that sign? Oh, maybe one. Okay, one. Now, I want to do something with you and Barb. I want to tell you about one of the ones who doesn't ask, okay? Mm -hmm. So just bear with me. <clears throat> Here's this guy comes to the cafe. He's never been there before. And he sees this sign. His name is Al. So Al comes in, and he, he isn't coming for a cure. He, he saw the cafe, and he wants a coffee, you know, and he is hoping that the cookies look good because he loves sweets. He's, a, he's an addict. Mm -hmm. So gets to the door, and it says Cure Cafe, and he sort of glances at it, and it gets his attention, like it grabs him for a second, he's curious about it. And then he walks in, and there's nobody in the place, just Barb, or just you, and he doesn't ask about it, basically because he's shy. You know, like he just, you know, he doesn't want to get that from, he's a little uncomfortable getting that familiar with you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So... But what he does is he goes to the counter and he looks at all the cookies and he's blown away. Like he's like, wow, he wants one of everything, you know. And, and he knows, like he's overweight, he's almost 40, you know. He knows he's going to be a heart attack candidate. He, he doesn't want to get diabetes. But what he does is he buys half a dozen cookies plus a latte plus a plate of, with two cookies on it. And so he's got his cookies in a bag to take home and he's got his you know, his stuff, and he goes and sits at a table and eats his thing for a while, and then he leaves, okay? And that's the end of him, okay? And this is a lot of people. Like, a lot of people just won't say anything. Right? You with me? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Now, what do you do about this? Put up more signs. Uh, make the sign bigger, uh, whatever. No. Put a video up, you know, have a computer continuously playing movies of people curing things. No. Okay. Let me give you another scenario. And I believe this is the only thing that will ever work to help somebody like Al. Okay? Al comes in the, the store, and this time the store is, is also empty, basically except there's a woman at the counter with Barb. And Barb and this woman are in this animated conversation, and Barb is saying, did you remove it? And the woman is saying, uh, well, uh, and she tests, and she goes, yeah, I'm getting that it's gone. And Barb says, well, do you feel any different? And the woman goes, 
yeah, I feel very different. Well, how do you feel different? Well, one thing, now, at this point, Al approaches the, you know, the counter, and he's looking at the cookies, but he can't help overhearing this conversation because it's an empty room, and these two people are talking in a rather loud voice. Barb, would you turn the camera a little bit towards her so that I get her in the picture? Oh, yeah. I mean, I think we should just, because obviously, you're, Anna, you're more comfortable like sit, sitting over there, so... Okay. No, this is fine. Okay. I'm fine. All right. So, so Al is listening to these two women, and he's starting to think maybe this is the cure thing that he saw on the thing. And meanwhile, he's looking at the cookies, and, and the woman is saying, well, you know, my throat feels entirely different. You know, it was, it was, it, there's no pain there at all now. And Barb's going, well, that's great. Any other difference? And, and then she turns to Al, and she says, what can I get for you? And all of a sudden, Al, in the middle of this, he decides that he doesn't want to buy a bag full of cookies after all. Like he says, oh, he realizes he's an addict. Something happens inside of him. And he just says, no, I'm not going to do it. I know I'm going to take these things home and I'm going to eat these cookies all, you know, tonight and I'm not going to do it. I, and so he orders a plate with a couple of cookies and a coffee. And he says, you know, is this the curing thing that is on the sign? And Barb says, yeah. And... Before I go on, just so you know, there's this non-verbal thing, like the woman Barb is talking to, her name is Jenna, not the Jen that we know, this is another person, okay Barb? And she sort of smiled kind of a wel in a welcoming way, just so he knows that she isn't put off and he's not interfering with anything. So he knows that it's okay. He's been sort of given permission to talk, or to ask, you know, by the people who are doing it. So he said, and she says, yeah. And meanwhile, Jenna says, well, the other difference is that my mind feels like a blank slate, like I'm just quiet. Is she in Cinturus for a second there? Yeah. Well, I'll wait. Okay. Um, yeah, you add mocha time. Mmm. They gotta have their mochas. Barb, do you remember at Flamingo Crossing the mocha ice cream? Yeah. Oh my god. I know. Oh my god. Too much. There you go. Okay. I can push it. Right. Okay. Come back. Come back. You know, by the way, just as you you just reminded me of it, so I'm stopping in the middle of what I was telling you to tell you something else. That you know, as I've been thinking about the cookies and coffee thing, and you know, I went uh, and I went to another Starbucks yesterday. No, wait a minute. You know, it was Wednesday I went there. I went to the one in Sarasota on Wednesday. And I stood there and I watched them. <clears throat> and, you know, they have a completely different line of cookies and cakes and stuff than the one in Brandon. And I realized that you are probably doing the right thing with your... Like, you have a spectrum approach to serving sweets, like you make some healthy ones, you make some raw ones, you make some whole grain ones, and then you make some sugary ones with white flour and, and chocolate chips and all those things, because, you know, there are so many people who, if you give them a whole grain cookie, it doesn't taste like a cookie to them. Like it, t it t literally tastes, their taste buds are so jaded that it tastes like a piece of cardboard. So you really, like they aren't ready for it. You really can't g give them that. You know, they have to have, 
a chocolate chip cookie. You know, that's the only way they can get that they're having a cookie. You, you with me on this, Anna? Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, no, absolutely. Having a service. Yeah, I think that uh, you really got the right idea. You know, and I noticed Starbucks also does a version of that. Like they, although their things are all sweets, but they do have things that are more and less healthy. And then they also have lunch boxes and so on. You've been in there, right? So you know. Yeah, yeah. I'm a good charge for it too. Like they serve hard boiled eggs and so forth. Mm -hmm. um, one thing you might want to consider charging more than Starbucks. I think that if somebody gets all the way to your place, they're ready to pay more, number one. And two, it would create an identifiability in your brand. Like, if something is better, the only way most people know about that is if you charge more for it. Right, that's right. And some of our things are. Our yeah, cookies yeah, are more expensive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So back to... Okay. So... So Al says, uh, well this is, you know, this is really kind of interesting. And Barb says, want to do it? And he goes, okay. And so she's, uh, she starts running the outline with him. And... He goes, um, can't get a signal at first. Now at this point, another guy, Ed, comes in. So Barb goes over to him to find out what he wants. And meanwhile, Al's over there, standing there next to Jenna. And Jenna, he can't get a signal. So Jenna starts helping him get a signal. And he gets a signal. And this is the reason that... I, I just want to ask you something, Barb. Remember you used to talk about, like, having a storefront for Immunix? About uh, what? You used to talk about, like, having a storefront for Immunix where people could walk in. Oh, and... yeah, yeah. I was never keen on that. And can you see the difference, like why a cafe works and a storefront doesn't? Yeah, like those people, like that guy Al, the shy people, can come in and hang out and look at cookies and stuff. So, yeah, I can see that difference, why it would work. That less is... Intimid less intimidating. It's, okay, the thing is with the cookie store... Uh -huh. People can feel at home, and it's, it's, mm -hmm. it's not a taxing or threatening environment, but there's another reason that's even more important. Eating something, like giving themselves a treat, that's true. can actually help the person get a signal. Mm-hmm. Yes, 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 I noticed that here. Like, we don't judge them. Because we do get people that are really big or overweight and all that stuff coming in here. And we just, you know, give them what they want. I don't have judgments about that. I notice I let them give themselves a treat. Yeah. And it's they just relax. A person, mm -hmm. a person who takes a drink, like Anna just took a drink of that coffee, yeah. feels less threatened by anything. That's true. Than somebody who's like on, you know, you're calling, yeah. like, like when we call somebody to help them cure something, mm -hmm. and the person is on the phone, and they're on this call, and that's what it's about, and it's just, for some of them, it, it's just too stressful. Yeah. So they jam, you know, and there's mm -hmm. absolutely nothing I can do about it. Uh -huh. But you see, if somebody flunks when they're talking to you, you can... Ask them to take out their smartphone, bring them to the website, tell them to turn on the movie, and sit mm -hmm. down at the table across from you and watch the movie for a little while, 
and eat their, have their coffee, eat their cookie, and tell them, be sure you come back here and talk to me, and let's try it again before you leave. Mm -hmm. You know? And by that time, they may very well get a signal. It's just easier to succeed in the kind of environment that you create. It's a supportive environment. Mm -hmm. Which a storefront would not be, which is why I never wanted to do that. Yeah, I keep thinking of Scientology, they've done things like that. Oh, God. Very harsh. I went into Scientology one time. Mm -hmm. It was horrible. It was, I, I mean, talk too. about stressful. Anyway, don't get me started. Yeah, I know. She just made me stop that back to mind. I did that one too. Oh my God. I think we should have a Jesus store. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, Barb, I got rid of the immersion weekend. We don't do those anymore. It's we, The cafe is an activity. Eating, drinking, commuting, curing. It's an activity. It's an activity center. That's right. Community center. And I, I had three uh, people come in today, these you know, like 30 something group that was here, and they sat down at the table and they grabbed the coloring books and started coloring. Oh. Uh, kids, those little kids' toys that we have. We hung out for a long time. All we need is a bunch of puppies now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're reminding me, I may, I've been meaning to ask you. As the cookies age, you know, and they don't sell, do you have a place to give them to, like a charity that you can give them away to, so you don't have to throw them away? So we, yeah, we give them to Lene's chickens. <laughs> What's Lene's chicken? We, we, we give them away. We, we give them to the first There's really not that many that really go that bad. We yeah, we don't. Them. We, have, we sell them to the sales. Yeah. I'm People like buy day old cookies. Yeah. Oh, they do. We make them, yeah, we make them into uh, biscotti. You, you, um, you also use them as compost. You give them to chickens. Yes. <laughs> you know, you're right. Chickens would eat cookies. Come to think of it. Well, this is good. Yeah, because um, our chickens are very happy. They like the cookies. <laughs> Well, I have come to the conclusion that the Cure Drive will have cafes, Cure Cafes, because this, I, I don't think we have a good delivery system, number one. We need them in airports. Well, you know, the other thing is that, see, in a cafe, you have a source you you have a source of income while you're helping people because like most of the helping people that we do we give away for free and we always have and that's why we've never made our expenses as Franny keeps pointing out we always give we give it away for free and we don't have any uh, you know we, we have no no money you know Greg spent all his money on it you know, by the way, we have had other donors that have donated like a hundred thousand dollars to it and so on. So it wasn't only Greg. Uh, the point is though that most people just get something for free and and often that, you know, the other thing is it doesn't really work for them that well because they, you know, they just stop, they have this stopping place. And I would like to see people not have a stopping place, but, but continue, you know, and, and, and cure it all. Yeah. Do the donors have a stopping place? Or the yeah, they all do. They all did. Uh, all right. Except for you. I wonder why that is. You know, oh, yeah. You know, you that's that's a real mark of a of a, an immunity. Sure, <laughs> it could be, it could it, be mark. It could be a mark of several different things, but we won't. 
No, yeah. I mean, rightfully understood, a real, real no stopping place in life. Probably maybe people live longer. Yeah. Well, I think I'm back. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, also, if you think about it in terms of tipping point, mm -hmm. Anna, can you remember the three factors in tipping now? from the tipping point book? Um, one was stickiness. Okay. Um, one was... Oh, the, the, um, the few. Just the, the law of the few. The law of the few, is that right? Yeah, the law of the few. The stickiness, and what was the other one? Well, the other one is also quite relevant to a cookie store. I'll, I'll give you a hint. The other one, see, what we've been talking about here, like when we talk about Jenna and Al interacting and Barb mm -hmm. facilitating their interaction and Ed coming over and taking the pressure off Barb and so on, that's context. Mm -hmm. And Contact. Right, right. We'll also see when I was talking about how you love your customers and how you you know you light up around them and you like you want their praise more than their money and all that. Well, what you're doing there is you're creating a context for your customers. Right. See? That is actually what a context looks like. It's like remember the broken windows theory thing in the tipping point? Yeah. Well, when you want their praise more than their money, that's another form of fixing broken windows. Right. It's like wanting their money is the broken windows, wanting their praise is the fixed broken windows, or getting the graffiti off the subway. Mm -hmm. See? So, um, and see, that was the thing about Barb, I think, that maybe you saw when you started with her, that Barb really doesn't care about money at all. Like what she wants is people. Mm -hmm. Barb loves people. And she loves the hottest people as well as the, the greatest. She, she loves everybody equally. You know, she can't discriminate. We better fix that, right? That's what we're working on with her. <laughs> Listen, you know what I'm going to do, Barb? On, on Tuesday, hopefully, uh, hey Ross, can we have this meeting on 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 Wednesday? The Tuesday can the Tuesday meeting be on Wednesday? Yeah. I think that Greg and Fanny can have their joint session on Monday. Okay, that's great. Well then, what well, we're gonna I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what the Wednesday meeting is. So this meeting is going to be Wednesday, and I'll tell you what it's going to be on. And by the way, Anne, I, I haven't been inviting you to these meetings because I know you're busy and so on. And also, um, you don't really need to be at these meetings because the meetings come out fine as a movie and you can watch the movie anytime you have some time. Right, right. That's good for me. Yeah, you don't have to show up for them. Uh, and we have enough people to make great meetings. But this meeting is going to be about um, what happens when you interact with people like what happens to your particle index, um, where, how your interests, you know, control what mm -hmm. happens, uh, and so on. So, basically, it's going to be about getting stuck and unstuck in interactions with people. Right. And, uh, anyway, I, that's, I, I decided to, now where we're going to embed it, this I don't know. But it, it, because it covers like a, just a variety of the lessons in the web college. But I just, I just came up with it. You know, I listened to the, another talk by Malcolm Gladwell. By the way, Malcolm Gladwell has a new book out. It's called David and Goliath. Published? David and Goliath. Oh, yeah. Oh. Now, uh, Anna, you know what I was, you know, remember I was asking you like how the British won at Angoncourt? Yeah. And uh, do you remember what your what the answer to that was? It was um, 
The longbow. <laughs> well, that's what his book is about. <laughs> no way. Yeah, David and Goliath is about this question. Mm. Like, I don't know if he covered Agincourt or Poitiers, but they wanted Poitiers the same way, but here's this, here's this little underdog guy, right? The British have 6,000 troops. The French have 24,000 troops. The French have five times the cavalry the British have, and all this... And the French are parading up and down. They're like, we're going to win, ha, ha, ha. They're so full of themselves. They are certain of victory. And the, the British just crushed them. Like within half an hour, they had 8,000 casualties. Their ranks were decimated. They were, they were just in a rout. And this is the same story as David and Goliath. And Gladwell was explaining the sling was very much like the longbow. Okay, the you know the sling was a weapon. In fact, there were army you know armies and you know ancient armies that kept slingers on their payroll because a sling like you revolved this you swung a sling at like six revolutions per second. The the rock had the stopping power, basically, of like a 45 automatic handgun. It was no context. Contest, you know, Goliath comes walking out, and here's this, you know, very slow-moving, gigantic target, right? And David, you know, got him right between the eyes, and that was the end of it. He just thud, and it was over, you know? But really, Goliath was the real underdog, <laughs> because... His weapon wasn't good enough. You know, David was the guy who had the weapon. And the thing about what, what you're doing here is that the, the real weapon with all this is actually the outline. Mm -hmm. See, what I'm, I mean, obviously God is the weapon cause, because God does cure things. And when, when we cure things, it's God doing it. <laughs> That's what David had too, right? That's right. Well, That's good. Yeah. Well, so, you know, I have to go take care of some things right now. Um, but thank you so much for the, it was a wonderful meeting. Thank you. It was awesome. Well, well, it was a pleasure having you, and we'll be seeing you later. Okay, bye. I'll come back later. Okay. I'll speak to the final bell here. We might have to change Monday night meeting. Packers play on Monday night again, Greg. Oh, God. I know, we might have to change everything here, or else call the NFL. Yeah, and they're not playing every Monday night, just this Monday, right? No, it's, it's just this Monday. I'll have to watch, I'll do my meeting from the sports bar. Yeah. It's not a problem, Barb, if you want to watch the Packers, you know. I know you've never missed a game. <laughs> but all, all, the, all these Packers fans will say, Barb, what is she doing that's more important than the Packers? <laughs> what is this pure drive? It's the reason why the Packers win. I know. I have better attendance than Brett Favre. Yeah, I will I'll figure something out. I just noticed that. Anyway, okay, so. I'm going to go warm up in a hot tub and then so you, figure out. So you're not working today, right? No, I just was relieved by these two women and I'm going to go off and... Uh, let me do a slightly homeless. I'm going to go soak in a hot tub for a minute and get my bearings and wash my hair and then I'll figure out <laughs> what I'm doing the rest of the day. I mean, uh, Albuquerque, obviously, so we'll see. We well, you know what? I think, Barb, next time I speak with Anna on the phone, perhaps I'll have you along with us. Okay. I think that would be very good. Yeah, and if I talk to that woman Susan again now, I know how to handle her better. Sorry about, you know, I spent too much time with her yesterday. Well, it's Susan not a Calgary. Yeah, she's the one that Bart's saying I should start getting a percentage of now because of 
Whatever, we have a connection. But, yeah. I mean, so even after she signed up, she spent, she, I mean, she spent yeah. a lot of time with teaching, yeah. right? Yes, yes. Yeah. I'll keep up with her, but I'm going to recommend her to I just want to be clear, this is the last one. I mean, you, if you spend time like that, it's going to be on your own time from here. And uh -huh. you, you really don't have to. All you do is just show them something on the hub to work with. In other words, you let go of them. Very few people are, are coaching candidates. Yeah. And But you show them the coaching. That's how you do the outline, like the way you did it. You show them the coaching thing. Yeah. I mean, the way Kelia set it up was she, she thought the woman wanted to do, like, have private sessions with me. I guess I was... Like, that would be coaching, and that's $6,300. Okay. I guess and I was giving her an example of what coaching would look like, but maybe it was a two-hour event. You don't have to give them examples. Just get, give them some things to work on. What they need an example of is how lousy it is to try to do it by themselves and how important okay. it would be to have a coach helping them. Okay. Have fun. Bye -bye. And just remember that no matter what you do, most people are not going to get coaching. They're just not coaching candidates. Okay. Yes, yeah, probably isn't, but... Okay. Well, you know, the fact is, Barb, that you're more likely to have a coaching candidate walk into that cafe than to come in for, through with Keely or through the web. Actually, that's probably true. Because you, yeah, because you get a, vet, a good spectrum of people. Lots of people like cookies, you know? <laughs> like Steven Spielberg can walk in. He likes cookies. You know, he can walk in. You know, you, our ally can walk in and start doing, you know, curing things, and we can be where we want to be over in two seconds. That's another yeah. thing that's great about cafes, that, you know, it's not just one kind of person that comes into them. Like, uh -huh. almost everybody that calls me is just uh -huh. some per poor guy with herpes who yeah, maybe yeah, doesn't have very career, much... Doesn't, doesn't leave their house or something. Yeah, they, they don't have money to go to the doctor, so they're mm -hmm. trying to find a cure on the web, you know. And stuff, you yeah, know? Yeah. I mean, right. that's what right. we're getting, you know. But in a cafe, you get everybody. I know, a couple of good people are coming here. Yeah, you're right. It's wonderful that way. And the vibration of sugar is much like the vibration of the harmonic, I'm sure. Sugar and caffeine and... <laughs> well, I once tested that pure white sugar is on the 144th dimension. But chocolate is, raises everything. Yeah, I heard a report that they were saying on the news that eating lots of chocolate can help you lose weight, especially dark chocolate and has other benefits. Uh, well, I was going to tell you guys years ago, especially Shosai chocolate. Which is I don't chocolate. think you can eat the kind that has a lot of sugar in it. Oh, you can eat the kind I was trying to turn you guys on two years ago, Brandon. Yeah, it's that's... rich for me. That is... Oh, gave me diarrhea. Well, also, <laughs> see the... Oh, well, that was good. You were probably friends. Yeah, that's that. probably... That was probably a good thing, but And also, see, the, the chocolate that Barb sells is full of a kind berries, which also help you lose weight. Yeah, it's like killer, it's totally I didn't lose any weight. Well, you only ate one piece, that's you, why. You, you, no, I ate more than one piece. You took it for three months, and you'll see what I'm talking about. But anyway, yeah, it totally changed me. I still take it. Well, you're well, there, was a woman, there was a woman who was back in Philadelphia at our courses, and I forgot what her name She did those jackets, those painted denim jackets. And she said that when I ate stuff like that, I was trying to raise my va vibration level to a higher vibration. Well, you know, I once tested that the vibration of pure white sugar is the 144th dimension. Yeah, because it, it does speed your metabolism also. And what do you test now? That's what you did once, but... <laughs> yeah, no, it is. It's Good just question. that... You know, it's just that your body can't operate on the 144th dimension. You can, but your body can't. So that's why sugar needs to be taken in moderation. Because you're... Oh, that's what, okay. You see, your body, it's just too, it's too, too much for your body. And, like, right above that is strychnine, which is a little higher up and kills you. Like, strychnine is just slightly more in than sugar. And that's what it is. It, it kills you because it's so yin. You, 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 sh you know, you like shake to pieces. That's interesting. It is.
But I, th I think that the ch chocolate that Barb sells is uh, good, and it's probably good for weight loss. It's way, way different than what you're talking about. Yeah, it's oh, look, Barb, nothing against it. I mean, there's sugar. I mean, yay. I mean, there's nothing to have against it. It's like totally serious. So I live by riches. I can't afford to buy it. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I always tell people you can't afford to be sick either. You can't afford to be whatever. But yeah, it's okay. Whatever you have to, people, it's not for everyone. Actually, Freddie, you can afford to buy it. Not that expensive. You can even buy half cases now. And you, you can get rid of all the supplements. You can afford to buy it. Amazing stuff. But I will tell you one thing. I may end up eating that chocolate bar, but I will not get rid of my supplements. I may cut back. No, I'm doing great things with, yeah, I'm not even taking that many supplements, but I've been doing really great stuff for myself. I know, <laughs> you're doing really well. So, anyways, yeah, this, the, I, I had sort of finished my outline right before Anna left anyway. Okay. Uh, Funny thing about that, I think she's intuitive. You know, she just feels these mm -hmm. things. She yeah. Um, some renters coming. What? She has some renters coming that she has to meet at the house. Oh, oh. Right. Okay. Well, anyway, um, so you I mean she left the store? Yeah. Okay. Um, well, I am going to. Uh, I think this is a good stopping place, and why don't we just link our celestial bodies, everybody? Uh, Gaia, excuse me. Uh, are you going uh, on the new time, uh, this weekend? Yeah, we're going on the new yes. time on Sunday. Sunday, we're on the new time. Okay. Okay. And uh, Greg and Franny, is it okay if uh, we do your joint session on Monday? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. Okay. Or thanks Thank for staying until the bitter end. <laughs>